Hey everybody, the book for the Hyundai Santa Fe and the manual that the little instructions that come with uh, the, the kit for installing the electrical wiring aren't worth the beans that come it's made out of or paper it's made out of, okay? Uh, that is if you're buying a Hyundai specific um, plug for the trailer. This mixes two vehicles together the Kia and the Santa Fe and it mixes you up, it just puzzles you and so uh, watch the video, watch it twice uh, I do make some mistakes and I fix them so uh, well, make sure you understand it and uh, view it as many times as you want to get it right and uh, that way you can do it the first time the right Hey everybody this is a 2009 Santa Fe and I'm getting ready to hook up a trailer hitch to this uh, first step is um, what I'm going to do is hook up the wire harness so that's part one of part two on the videos, okay. So first thing to do is go ahead and take everything out of the back of the SUV, and you got to take this mat out. This is a good time to wash it too, if it's as dirty as mine. Okay, just take it and set it aside. I'm going to put it over here for now, just to get it, get it out of the way. And um, then you have, wow, what a mess! <laughs> wow, what a mess uh, back here. Uh, my wife uh, just passed this on to me since I sold my Jeep, and uh, sorry, sorry for you guys uh, here and that. We're going to open this up. Uh, we got to take things apart here. So take, take that, push it back. We're going to be taking this guy out here. All right, that's a, the spare tire uh, thing. We're going to be taking all this out. Uh, those bolts got to come out down on the bottom. And this all has to come up in order to get in, get into where we have to work. All right, so um, I see I have a screw of some sort down here that I got to get out. So it's a good time to do some cleaning up back here, uh, taking all this out. So. I'll, I'll clean all this up, get it to the point of uh, taking the screws out, show you how to do it. All right, I have three, the three screws uh, undone. This one's staying in because I can't get it out, but it's loose. And you got to come over here where the spare tire is and turn this guy. This is, uh, I don't know if this is what was holding it up, uh, putting it, uh, taking it out, but I took that out just to get the covering off. And I think this is going to, I think that might have to actually come out. Alright, didn't have to lower that, and I'm glad I didn't take a bolt to that. It took some muscle to lift this out, guys. So when you take this cap off, you probably don't even have to take the cap off. Don't know why I had to do that, because I don't think the threads grabbed there, so you didn't, didn't have to do this. I'm going to put it back on, finger tight. i got to remember to tighten that down. So don't need to do that. Okay, over here, alright, it takes a, a Phillips head screw to undo this. I don't know why it has to be undone, <laughs> honestly. Uh, the, because uh, what I'm referring to is these panels here have done. two notches right there. You take a screwdriver, pop it out on both sides. Okay, all the hardware I'm keeping up there on the side so we can put them back in. All right, so right now I'm going to tighten that guy back down because I didn't have to take it out. All right, it's, it's in. So now this guy comes right out. All right, and you want to set it aside. It's probably a good time to uh, go ahead and uh, clean clean out real good if you're a clean nut like me. I still don't see what I'm looking for in here. What I'm doing in here, I don't see what I'm looking for. I'm hoping I don't have to take anything else out. All right, I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to have to bring wires around here. Now, the other book I'm going to show you, uh, the owner's manual says that the trailer hitch is coming out this panel right here. I don't know why, with the trailer being way over here, why the hit, the wiring, the actual wiring would come out of that. Because that, that's not where I want it to actually come out. Where my son backed in right here, that's probably where I want it to come out. I'm not going to rip that apart. All right, so for right now, we're going to work on the inside. All right, and I'm going to show you how to put the harness in. Well, I'm finding out it's taking a lot more work than I thought. The whole side panel has to come off in order to get to this yellow wire down inside. So I took these back out. I'm in the process of removing this whole thing so I can get the side panel out. I took the uh, screws off the, the bottom parts here, the screws off the bottom parts there. There's three more screws, one there, one inside each one of those panels uh, to pull this out. I, I want to do that anyway because I got stuff underneath the seat that I can't get to and I want to clean all this up anyway, probably with a vacuum outside the vehicle. So go as far as you want with that, but the object is to get this panel out on the side and that one out on that side. I have this connector out, that's fine and dandy. I need to get the other connector too. 
Oh, there it is. It's out. I don't know what that liquid is right there. I hope it's from something that was recycled that leaked in there, but I want to show you something. That's how you get to all the stuff that's underneath underneath your back seat. That's the only way to get down there and get underneath that. I've been trying to get all that stuff out of there, so definitely I'm glad I pulled that out. Okay, there's another screw here and a screw there. I don't see any more up there. Same thing on that side to pull this panel out. I think it unclips coming down here. I don't know what's inside that, but I don't think there's anything more up here. I don't know what this little guy is. That just popped out. That's good. You have an outlet here that's all attached. And let's see, that that moves, but no problem. So I don't think there's anything. I'm going to pop that thing back in before I lose it. All right, so it looks like two screws there, two screws there. This guy should pop out. There's nothing else holding it on the bottom except for carpet. Give this guy a good cleaning. And I'm going to do that before I actually shove, shove hey, everything back in. This thing there. comes with connectors. These connectors right here. All right, and to me, like, what the heck? All right, this is what I saw out here. Okay, and I thought there was another one, so I took this panel kind of apart. There's nothing else in there. All right, so don't take the panel no, apart. Was I going to make a mistake? Okay, uh, over here, if you look real carefully, I know it's dark in there. All right, but that is green and black on that connector. So I'm put the green on the driver's side. And actually, the instructions say so. I misread the instructions. So uh, glad I'm doing this so you can learn before you mess it up. Okay, you don't want your lights to be backwards when you're doing your turn signals and stuff. So hook that guy up. Uh, it's really easy. I already have them disconnected. Just plug them in. Make sure the clips uh, engage. Snap okay, in. once you get the uh, yellow side to, uh, in, you have to put a, uh, a ground in, okay? Now, this is something that a lot of people don't like doing is drilling into their own vehicles. It does not avoid the warranty, all right? So the first thing you're going to do is take a punch with a hammer. Move this back far enough to get in there and get a good wall up on that to put a little dent that the drill bit's not going to run away on you. That's a that's a three thirty seconds drill bit. Now you're going to uh, drill into it and then you're going to screw the self-tapping sheet metal rod screw in there and uh, set the ground. And that's what the it has to be done. Otherwise, your lights are not going to work the right way. Now this model has a um, black box that has to. Uh, that uh, has a separate uh, two-sided tape. I have it taped on the one side. I'm going to uh, take that side off and stick it up against the wall over in this area, up off the ground. Because if you spill liquid down there, you don't want to get it wet. So it's going to be well. Up the there. two plugs underneath the vehicle on this side that's supposed to come out of this hole is useless for this project. So you have to finagle your way. There's a rubber. There's a rubber thing. Let me get the flashlight. Okay. Right up there, that's hard to see. It's right on the side, it's the only rubber piece that you're going to pull out. So, pull it out. I put a coat hanger up there, and it was a bear for my wife to see it. So, just pull this panel out. That's right here. Two things on top, push them in, that panel comes out, bam, there it is. So, that's all you have to do to get that. That's how easy it was. Uh, before you and your other half get so ticked off at each other and get in the needle nose and stuff, it was just too easy to do. So, now go ahead and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the um, clothes hanger uh, around the harness and pull it down. That way it comes out that little hole where the thing is. And I'll bring you down there and show you all that. Right. I tied the clothes hanger around the, around the connector right here. I'm going to go downstairs while my wife feeds this to me. Actually, I'm just going to put it over the lip. She shouldn't have to feed it too much to me. I'm just going to pull it down. I just don't want it to get tanged on anything. I'm going to take the flashlight down there and show you the hole it comes out of. Okay, so here I go. Definitely make sure your your uh, your exhaust pipe is cool at this time. Okay, That's you can see where, uh, where it's coming out. Okay, there was a rubber thing on there. I'm probably going to fill that in with uh, black rubber, um, something so that to seal it so the water doesn't get up in there. All right, in the meantime, uh, I got to get that harness through, which I don't think it's wide enough. I have to go sideways through somehow. So that could be a lot of fun. Just try working it through and uh, see what you could do. Okay, I'm going to just keep muddling with it until it comes through. Well, it's downright obvious that the, the plug is not coming through that little hole. So the only alternative is to cut the wire, route it through, and splice the wire back on. I know you don't want to do that. I also don't want to make a bigger hole that it has to come through. All right, so I just don't want to do that. Okay, so first thing to do is tie a string on there, pull the string up. Okay, uh, hopefully the string won't come all the way up and you can pull the harness back down. Then we'll splice it on.
once you get it on top, go ahead and tie a knot in the wire. What we're going to do is cut on this side, the side toward the plug. All right, so we're going to cut probably uh, probably right in this area. I'm going to go. Uh, I want to sna um, stagger it, probably a half inch a piece. There's a reason for that, and I'll show you why in a bit. All right, use a sharp knife to cut uh, cut the wires apart. Be careful not to slice into the insulation. But you want to pull them apart. Now, what I did is I staggered the cut. The reason behind that, whether you solder or you splice uh, through there. Uh, having one splice right over another makes it a very thick area, so you want to stagger them. Using about the 16 gauge on your wire strippers, go ahead and strip the insulation off of the wire. You can see it right there. Okay, and do that to all the wires. Well, now that the wire stripping has been done, I could pull this harness back down through that small hole underneath. Don't need, I don't think you need to watch me do that again. Uh, when it comes out the bottom, I'll show you and we'll start the splicing. We're going to splice outside over here someplace because we have to use a heat source. And guess what's underneath under, in the middle of, the, of your uh, vehicle is the gas tank. So you don't want to be uh, that close to that during the, the heating up the heat trap. Now I showed this in another video on how to do this. But uh, that's, a, uh, that's a splice right there. And then there's heat shrink. Make sure you put the heat shrink on the wire first before you splice both ends. Then you use a heat source, hot air gun. I don't like using matches or lighters, and just uh, heat that heat that guy down. Make sure nothing flammable's around, and don't heat up any other stuff around there. But do one at a time. That's about what it should look like when it's done. I have to do it to the same to, to all the others. But staggering them is going to make it a lot easier as far as bundling it up. It won't be one big bulk. Well, as you might have noticed, I was using flashlights last night to get the work done. And I uh, went to church this morning, went got my whole wheelchair inside without the storage container. Didn't have to collapse and everything. That's pretty cool, but too bad I can't leave it the way, that way because uh, what am I going to do with that big storage unit? Okay, um, looks like this guy came off when I pulled everything up. Uh, I got to the point of, uh, did the soldering, got all that in place, pulled up the... Uh, the um, harness and I don't see it hanging down underneath so I pulled it up high enough at that hole to be in place until we get the trailer hitch hooked up. That was the whole goal. So I'm going to get this all cleaned up. I'm going to put it back together and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Also something else. Alright, when I made the turn signal to go into church, the right turn signal went that means that your tail light, one of your lights are out. This guy right here was disconnected, so make sure they're closed and snapped in real good before you put these panels back on. All right, so uh, all right, just some, uh, that's a very important thing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up here and uh, try walking away uh, where all the screws go and everything. Okay, this is the uh, area where I spliced, where I put the tape. I took two zip ties. I used the white so you could see them real good. Uh, one on each side, and you want to be right on the uh, the last bit of the tape on both sides, so it doesn't unravel. All right, and go ahead and snip off the what I call pigtails, the tags. Use a pair of dykes or a pair of scissors to do that. Be careful not to cut the, cut the wires. Doesn't look too shabby at all as far as cleanliness. Look at the carpet right there too. That's just one strip using a using a shop vac with that kind of nozzle on it right there. All right, so just working it in, scrubbing back and forth, and it gets that clean. I'm going to do the whole thing like this. Now I did not put this guy back in. Okay, up against the uh, bulkhead on the outside because I'm going to be getting in there again. So I'm probably not going to put the screw up there. I did put the small one. Just remember the small screws go here on these two things here. All the rest of the screws are the same right there uh, for the whole thing. All the rest of them are the same. So uh, so keep, keep them in a the safe place. Put them in a bag. All right, I'm going to close this one up entirely. This side over here after cleaning it. Make sure the connectors are really good. I'm not getting back in there. I do have to get back in here because I have to run the wire down below and I so coiled up behind this thing, uh, keeping the connector up. So I'm going to do that after the trailer hitch is hooked up. Right, before you put the big storage unit in, back in, look how clean that is. Isn't that amazing? Okay, uh, you're going to need to put the two screws back on the bottom there and you need to have the two here. I have the two already in on this side. So uh, go ahead and put the two screws back in. Alright, and these should already be in. I'm going to take this one out because uh, when I go to do the back of this, I need to find the metal piece that it went to this. It fell down somewhere, hopefully not too well, far. Well, this is the forward one. There's the back one on the driver's side. Actually, it's the rear one toward me. All right, that is so deep, it's ridiculous. So use your fingers to actually get it into the screw hole. Just push it into place and then screw it in. What a pain that was to get in. It took more time to do that than anything else around here. So be patient with them. That back one or the front one up there is easy. 
this guy here is going to take a little time and just uh, follow the directions. You know, use your finger, put it in, get find the hole that the screw goes in, and then screw it in. All right, getting ready to put everything back together. Everything is pretty as uh, clean as possible as I can get it for right now. Okay, uh, the only thing that I put inside this guy is the uh, one thing you can't really see it. But the one thing that actually uh, goes in, in the back of this guy when I take it apart again. I'm really hoping that I can leave this in when I uh, pull this out. Okay, so uh, to work on it and just take out the toolbox. So, uh, so uh, there's screws now. There's two here, and I think there's three on the inside. One, two, and three over there. Okay, if there's any liquid in there, go ahead and use a paper towel to uh, clean it up. And there is just a little bit of liquid, probably from when I washed it. All right, and that's all right. Uh, there is a stanchion here. Okay, let me uh, bring it up. I think the back seats have to be uh, uh, all the way up in order to get that to go all the way up. So that, if you want to air dry it, you can leave it open and just air dry it while it's doing that. I'm going to put the seats uh, upright so I can open it up all the way and go back to the second latch, which is back there with that. I never knew that was there <laughs> until I was just doing this. All right, but all the all the screws, except for these guys right here, are all the same. Hey, after all the hardware is on the sides, both sides, you could slide this guy in. The seats have to be all the way up, straight up, in order to uh, put the brace there. Okay, that's the brace right there that came down and holds this guy up. Okay, um, make sure you're all cleaned out, dried out, vacuumed out. Okay, uh, three holes over there, two up front here. Okay, all use the same screws. All right, this is the guy that was behind this where the wire is going down. So I'm not going to keep it in here to make all the noise in the world. While I'm driving around, I'm going to keep this outside on a shelf in the garage. All right, uh, there's a lot of openings under here. Uh, there's no big deal. All right, it's just part of the case. All right, and then uh, next thing is that once the once the tool kit goes in here, it's going to hide the wires that run run along. It's a very nice uh, out of sight, out of mind thing. It's really nice. I'm going to set this over here for now so I work. Go get five screws that you took out and put them back in. They're all the same size except for these guys right here. And there's my other screw down there. Never came out. So that counts for my third screw I was missing. Got some water over on this side. I got to uh, clean out. And then uh, we're good on that side. I'm going to do one more vacuuming in there before I put the tool kit in. All right. So it looks to me like I'm going to have to pull this one out if I have to get back in there at all. All right. And the uh, and, uh, next step would be is to put the... Put the hardware in. Let's the lastly on this one is give a good pound on the on this side here to make sure it locks all the way down because uh, there was a little play and you want to make sure it's locked down. Okay, that guy is to latch the the top down. These guys are your harnesses. You can run to, for cargo and stuff like that. Haven't figured out what these are. So if any of you know what these things are for, let me know, please, because I cannot find in the book or any place what they're, they're for. All right, um, I'm going to put the tools in, close that up, close the top one up, and put the mat in, and it's finished. Okay, so uh, keep an eye out for the final one, and uh, that's going to be with the uh, unit going underneath, the hardware going on.